Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're taking a look ahead to August and discussing six changes and new additions we can expect to see around the New Horizons island. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Now, just quickly before we get into today's video, if you're a fan of Let's Plays or the original GameCube version of Animal Crossing, be sure to check out my second channel, The Mori Plays, where we're currently playing through the original. It's super fun and I hope to see you over there. So we are now coming to the end of July, which is possibly the quietest month in the entire year in terms of events and content to play through. Fortunately, August is almost upon us and we will begin to see some changes around the New Horizons Island along with more things to do. Some of these things are of course seasonal adjustments to the DIY recipes and weather phenomena, whilst others are changes and updates to events and holidays. Plus, thanks to the recently released 1.11 update, August also sees new limited time items and refreshed event to keep us busy. Anyway, as always, we'll highlight pretty much everything so both old and new players can get a good idea of what to expect. So if you're excited for August, be sure to leave a like and here are six changes and new additions we can expect to see during the month of August. Number one, fireworks. Now we may as well get the events out of the way first before we look at the changes to the island so thanks to the recent 1.11 update that was released this week the fireworks shows are returning to the New Horizons Island and will take place every Sunday. The event is much the same as last year although has been somewhat refreshed to include new items. Like last year Isabel and the villagers will gather at the plaza for an evening of fireworks and you'll also be able to encounter Jolly Red who's hosting a lottery with up to 24 unique prizes. This is almost twice as many as last year and since the 1.11 update now includes new handheld items such as cotton candy, boba tea and frozen trees. The good news is last year prizes returned too allowing new players to get their hands on balloons, pinwheels and tweeters. Number 2 Bug Off as you'd expect, with it still being the summer season here in the Northern Hemisphere, the Bug Off contest continues into August. Given how the weekends fall in July this year, August only sees the third Bug Off towards the end of the month. This will of course take place on August 28th and is a great opportunity to earn one of three Bug Off trophies as well as some limited time items you may have missed from previous contests, including the Bug Cage which is really awesome and of course the Bug Wand. July actually sees the second bug off this weekend too so keep an eye out for that. Now unfortunately the bug off is restricted to the summer season so only takes place in the northern hemisphere. Players in the southern hemisphere will have to wait until November to take part in the next contest. However you can of course visit friends or other islands to participate if you want to. Number 3 Seasonal Celebrations now August sees two seasonal celebrations, one of which is returning from last year and one that is brand new thanks to the recent 1.11 update. The first is Cowherd and Weaver Girl Day which takes place from August 5th through to August 14th and is a real world event inspired by two star cross lovers who get to meet for a day. During this period players will be able to purchase both the Orihime and Hikoboshi outfits in honour of the celebration. The second is Obon which takes place from August 10th through to August 16th so runs alongside the first and is a celebration of ancestors and family reunions. During this period players will be able to purchase both the cucumber horse and the eggplant cow with each one available on random days at the nook stop. Number 4 Seasonal Materials now whether you're in the Northern Hemisphere or Southern Hemisphere, we're all about to enter the final month of the season with Northern players entering the last month of summer and Southern players entering the last month of winter. For this reason we don't see too much changes to the seasonal materials and DIY recipes that are available. Players in the Northern Hemisphere can continue to find and collect summer shells and their corresponding recipes which can be found in balloons throughout the entire month of August. Players in the Southern Hemisphere on the other hand can continue to collect snow flakes through to August 24th with the final week of August seeing young spring bamboo begin to spawn. Naturally young spring bamboo recipes can also be found in balloons too. Number 5 Island Aesthetics 
Now, once again, given we're entering the final month of a season, there's not too many changes that will occur surrounding the aesthetics of the island. Bushes in both the northern and southern hemispheres remain the same through to September, with red and yellow hibiscus blooming in the northern hemisphere and red and pink camellia bushes blooming in the southern hemisphere. However, players in the southern hemisphere will see a change to their weather phenomena as auroras can no longer be encountered after August 24th. Instead, players may encounter rainbows in hours after heavy rain on fine days. Furthermore, the first few weeks of August is the last chance for some time for players in the Southern Hemisphere to encounter heavy fog. Weather is much the same for players in the Northern Hemisphere though, as the summer season actually runs through the entire month of August with rainbows already spawning. Number 6. Critters now, just as you'd expect with any month in the Animal Crossing universe, players across both hemispheres will see a shift in the types of critters that we can encounter around the New Horizons island, including bugs, fish, and deep sea creatures. Naturally, players in the Northern Hemisphere are playing in the height of summer, and players in the Southern Hemisphere are playing in the middle of winter, so the shifting creatures around the island isn't as significant as it will be when the seasons change. Players in the Northern Hemisphere will see a total of seven new critters, most of which haven't been spawning for a while. Some of these include the walker cicada, the soft-shelled turtle, and the flatworm, amongst others. Players in the southern hemisphere don't really have anything to worry about either, as there's only one new critter that can be encountered in the final month of winter, and that's the tiger beetle. Now, of course, players who have been playing for some time may have already caught these or even completed their Critopedia, but for new players, this is a great chance to catch some new critters and donate them to the museum for the first time. So there we have it, that's six changes and new additions we can expect to see around the New Horizons Island during the month of August. It's a fairly busy month really, at least compared to July, but September will be even busier with new seasons, new events and of course new items, so be sure to stick around for that. But what do you think about the month of August in terms of content? Are you happy to see the fireworks return? And have you already completed your Critopedia? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video, of course. I'd like to thank all of the Patreon and channel members for supporting this content and helping me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. As always, if you made it to the end of the video, be sure to leave a like and comment August. Just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And be sure to include what's your favorite thing about summer and winter. I'd love to know. Anyway, until next time, have an amazing day, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.